What's up, YouTube? It's me. It's the Indie Comic Book Guy. This time, I want to break the news to you. The CW has replaced Ruby Rose's character, Kate Kane, with a new actress. Now, keep in mind, a few months ago when it was announced that Ruby Rose was leaving the show or allegedly fired, we don't know. Different sources are saying different things. Point is, she's out. The producers of the show, they released a press statement saying they were looking for a new, a new lesbian, well, sorry, they said they were looking for a new LBGQ plus actress. LBGQ actress. If I left anything out of that, let me know. Sometimes I forget the letters of the alphabet. Just saying. Anyway, so... When this was announced that they were looking for a new LBGQ actor, I got to thinking. Indie comic book guy, who would you cast in this? And I got to thinking. Since the producers are going out of their way to alienate any straight actors out there to cast in this role, because apparently according to the CW, you have to be a lesbian, you have to be gay to play a gay character, which is crazy. It's like saying all these gay actors out there can't play straight men. It's bananas. Anyway, so, I, so let's have some fun with this. I did a little fantasy casting. Who kind of resembles Ruby Rose that could slide into this Batwoman suit and who knows? Maybe act a little better? I don't know. I thought of James Charles. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with James Charles, he's a YouTuber who has over 19 million followers. That does not come without drama. Trust me. James Charles is full of drama. Now, if only 2% of those 19 point eight million followers would watch Batgirl, they would have a hit series. They really would. But we know the CW doesn't cancel any shows. We were waiting on Smallville to get canceled for what? Eleven years? Something like that? Anyway. So the new announcement and I still would love to see if they were bold enough to cast James Charles as Ruby Rose because they they kind of look alike, at least to me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Does Ruby Rose look like James Charles? Or am I just crazy? I might be crazy. I don't know. So, big news is CW announced a new lesbian actress. And they had to put it this way in the press release. They found a new lesbian actress. But not just any lesbian actress. Remember, after the whole George Floyd thing, white people are being nice to black people. White actresses and actors that have voiced black or biracial characters, they're quitting. We don't want to do it no more. Pancake syrups are being renamed. There's no more Auntie Mama pancake syrup. It's crazy. You can't even get whitening toothpaste anymore. It's bananas. And I say these things and you might think, oh, you're joking. No, all this has happened, really. It, it, it's crazy. And I'm just doing my hands like this because why not? Anyway, so, ja Vincia Leslie is the actress. I'm not familiar with her either. Apparently she was on a show called God Befriended Me, which was about an atheist radio DJ, podcaster, who suddenly started getting text messages from God to help people. Yeah, this was really a show. <laughs> it was really a show. It's kind of like Highway to Heaven meets Drake's God's Plan video. There you have it. So, that got canceled. So, and I don't even know if I pronounced her name right. Javincia, Janicia, Javincia. Let's go with that. Anyway, beautiful woman. I don't know... Her resume, apparently she was also in a couple movies, was also on BET, and let's, let's be honest, most black people stopped watching BET a long time ago, uh, 
it's just not for us anymore. It's not for us. We got VH1. That's where we get our Ratchet TV. Okay. So, they cast this role. And Kate Kane apparently is leaving Gotham or they're going to kill her off. We don't know. So, Javincia, I think I got it right this time. Leslie, her character is named Ryan who was a drug smuggler, ran from the cops, um, kind of a, have a goofy nature, and she lives in a van, and she has a plant. Who do we know here on YouTube who is black, who has a van, who has a plant? Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Who do we know that is black, lives in a van with their plant? Hmm. Let me think. It only took me one Google search, one YouTube search, sorry, and I found her. Janelle. She's black, has a van, has a plant in said van, has wavy hair, around the same skin complexion as Miss Leslie. Let's do a side by side right here. Boom. Now, maybe I'm just a conspiracist or maybe I'm really stretching. Because I kind of had you with the James Charles Ruby Rose thing, right? Kind of had you there. But look at these two women. Look at ja what's this called, Miss Leslie again? And Janelle. And Janelle has over 2 million subscribers here on YouTube. So. It's not a stretch to say that some of the producers from Batwoman have not seen some of her videos and thought, hey, there's this whole van culture out here in California. It's a thing. You have this young, attractive black woman who's kind of kind of goofy, may, you know, like anyone else, if you push her, you know, she pushes back hard. Might not be a disciplined fighter. And I'm I'm describing this Ryan Wilder character as well. Because it's pretty much the same description of Janelle, who's a real-life person. What I'm getting at is, maybe the producers have loosely based... This is just my theory. Maybe they've loosely based this Ryan... Wilder character on Janelle. Hmm. Maybe that's something you should think about. Look into. Look at Janelle's videos. I'll link her channel below so you can check it out. Am I just full of S? I'm not going to say S. Am I full of shit? Really, am I full of shit for even making this comparison between a real world person of color who lives in a van who looks oddly similar to this actress that got cast in this role? I don't know. You decide. Let me know in the comments what you think. Now, those of you who watch my channel, y'all know I love saying the word social justice warrior because... It kind of fits. The producers actively sought somebody who was a member of the LBGQ community. This is what they did. They found her. And not only did they find her in the season of being nice to black people, it's black girl magic time. They found a lesbian black woman who's outspoken, who is... Not afraid to speak her mind. Kind of like this Ryan Wilder character. Hmm. Kind of like, I don't know, Janelle? I said Janelle. It's Janelle. Kind of like Janelle. I'm really bad at names today. Really bad at names today. But, is this a cause for to celebrate black girl magic? Or is it a cause of concern? Because you have certain people out there who 
we'll look at this as another example of tokenism. Another example of, wow, just like on Arrow, they created this John Diggle character who later they put in the comic books but hasn't really had an impact. But was there a need to create another original character for this show when they could have easily just canceled it and made a Vixen show? And they did a Vixen animated thing on the CW that nobody really saw because I think they just put it on the website. But I would have loved to see that. I would love to see Bumblebee. DC Universe, they have black female characters that could carry their own show. I look at this as a missed opportunity. Very missed opportunity. 